The Israeli military's nightly raids and detention of Palestinians in the occupied West Bank continued in the early hours of Sunday. Palestinian fighters exchanged gunfire with soldiers in the city of Nablus in the north. There were also clashes between Palestinians and Israeli forces in the city of Tulkarim. Well, Ellen Fisher has more for us uh, from occupied East Jerusalem. And Ellen, as we saw there, another night of Israeli raids in the occupied West Bank, some uh, looking more violent than usual as they met uh, stiff resistance. Uh, well, I think the argument that, that they look more violent than usual would be disputed by the people who are on the ground and have been suffering this since October the 7th. In Nablus, a number of arrests were recorded. North of Hebron, we're certainly hearing that a teacher was among those arrested, someone who is identified locally as a teacher. But as you say, the worst of the exchange is definitely in Tulkarim. Uh, what we're hearing is that around 40 Israeli military vehicles, including bulldozers, drove in to Tulkarim. There they started to break the main water supply leading into the refugee camp at that area. There were then some clashes and the Israeli forces came under fire from armed Palestinian fighters. The Israelis then started to put snipers onto the roof and there were intense but sporadic exchanges between both sides. The Israelis uh, surrounded a house and through loudspeakers ordered the people to give up and indeed there were a number of arrests. But this is the continuing pattern of what we've seen in the West Bank since October the 7th with more than 4,600 arrests and more than 300 people dead. And Ellen, the Israeli army has just given an update on the death of its soldiers in the Gaza Strip. On Saturday, they announced that five had actually died in Gaza uh, on Saturday. That has been updated twice in the last couple of hours. First of all, to eight, and the numbers included four who were killed in fighting in southern Gaza and also in northern Gaza. But that figure has now also been updated to 13, which is the largest number of deaths announced by the Israelis in any single day since October the 7th. The Israeli army, Daniel Hagari, who is the main spokesman, saying that the number of people dead were dead because they had been targeted by missiles, they had been victims of an explosion, and he also pointed to the fact that there has been intense fighting in areas like Khan Yunus, and that has been continuing throughout all of Saturday and into Sunday. And, of course, we're hearing from the Israelis that they are committed to this phase of the war even under U.S. pressure. Now, the U.S. may want them to wrap it up sooner rather than later, but we are now two weeks on from when we heard that from the Americans, one week on from Lloyd Austin's visit, and clearly the Israelis are continuing to push with the same intensity we've seen over the last several weeks. It certainly seems that way. Thanks so much. That's Ellen Fisher for us in occupied East Jerusalem.